Well, another day and another demonstration against the removal of the elm trees at St Mark's. Alan is here. We, now, we saw briefly, Alan, at uh, the event the other day, because you, you, you also made a little bit of a speech. You got a big round of applause. The interesting thing here, of course, is you are directly involved. You're, the, you're next door. I'm the neighbour. I'm the next door neighbour, yes. Can you take us through the timeline? I mean, how it happened? Were you notified? Do, do you think everything was adhered to? Well, what happened? I think it was, I think it was about the, the 6th of June. I was in Tesco's actually and I was uh, confronted by a very irate man who said are you the person cutting all these trees down so I said no no so when I went back home I checked on the planning and I was just flabbergasted so I immediately went to Defer I spoke to a man in Defer who was very upset he said we tried to stop this we did not want this so I came down immediately to planners. I spoke to a lady in planning and she said there was not a single objection. So I said I didn't object because I didn't know about it and the actual planning notice was very, very vague. So she said there wasn't a single objection. So I said now that it's been made transparent, said this morning there are 35,000 objections. Now. Really, that suggests that there's something wrong with the way the planet have published this. Now, I know they no longer put it in the courier and so on, and they expect everybody in this world to use computers, but not everybody does. And we, we had a look where it was. It, it was a bit sort of, I suppose, you could have easily missed it as well, couldn't you? On oh, the, yes. On the... It could have easily been missed. But I think it's the history of these trees as well, because it was used in a film with Colin Firth here. Oh, yeah and they, they wanted rain for the particular shot and it didn't rain on the Isle of Man for four days incredibly and they had to use the fire brigade to spray it with hoses to, for the shots that they needed. I said but also you get, um, you get wedding parties stopping for photographs because it's stunningly beautiful. Things have definitely got traction now. I mean here you are again just a day after the other demonstration, two days after, um, and, and as you say thousands upon thousands of people have signed this. How do you think it's going to go from here? What, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I think Chris, Chris Packham's been on from the BBC, so they've highlighted it. People apparently have tweeted Prince Charles. <laughs> really? Now, Prince Charles apparently is a lover of trees, yes. and people have tweeted him and asked him to intervene. So I, I don't use social media, no. but um, I, I think the power of it is, is fantastic. And a lot of MHKs and potential MHKs are here. All the involved. Yes. You yeah. always wonder, though, how it got through, don't you, now, seeing that there's all this support. Do you think there's going to be a backtracking? Do you think it's going to happen, even? I, I, well, I'm hoping it doesn't. And if there are alternatives, um, then I have to say, John, who's applied for the planning, I've always found him to be a very nice and a very caring person. He won't harm wildlife. So I'm shocked to see this. Yeah. John won't even kill vermin on the farm, so he's a he's a nice guy. We would love to hear from the the person that put in that yeah. application, obviously, because there was two sides to the story. We of don't course. we don't know exactly what's going on, but there is access elsewhere available. Isn't yes, there? there is, but it is a very fast road. The speed limit there is 50, and I think a lot of drivers see 50 as the starting point. It is horrendous sometimes with traffic. And uh, I couldn't even say they were boy racers, they're speed merchants, because lots of them have big posh cars. So more calming measures maybe to be put in there rather than needing to take trees down? Calming measures, mirrors. I think we need the police involved, we need um, the commissioners involved, and we need the highways board involved. And I'm sure we could come up with a resolution which would benefit everybody.